just one? Yeah, the other one, the turbos didn't come in. The car is practically ready, the turbos. And he was wanting, it was a customer's car, he was wanting to buy my turbos. I was like, no, I gotta get my new that <laughs> <laughs> But that car is, it's a little bit better than that one. It's all carbon. Oh, that's cool. It's very that's sweet. Cool. Well, we'll come, right? Um, it's yeah. coming probably two, three weeks. I gotta, okay. we gotta, we're waiting for a turbo setup to come this week. And as soon as it comes this week, that's when it'll lock in the date. Oh, yeah. beautiful. Yep. But it's definitely coming. Let's, let's see how this one plays out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but we're, we're 4,200. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> guys all excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4,200. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna have to put some nitrogen yeah. in the roof. Yeah, normally there's quite a lot. Yeah. Set up what we got to do. We got to kind of just run it easy for the first, and I got to retort the clutch. But we got to do that four times. Um, so we were not snapping our clutch bolt. Um, and at that point, we'll probably go ahead and throw on a new belt after that initial, you know, base run. Anything else we need to be aware of? So you set the start at what? Start speed at what? Okay, and uh, end speed at, you said 900? Okay, and then around 280? Okay, all right, that's all I need to know because usually most of the stuff we do here is like normal car with rear gear and all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, that's, that's fine. All right, cool. I uh, appreciate it, John.
it goes. Oh, it was, it was like no, half it, it was the speed is low. But yeah. Very slow. Very Almost slow. like the clutch yeah. wasn't, wasn't touching, you know? Yeah, normally like we sometimes we might have to rock the car get to, get to, it to, to get it to go. Alright, All right, let's move out of the way. Let's see. starting to lose differential pressure a little bit. What's that mean? This is the one that you're on. It means we're not going to be able to turn the boost up very much more. Is it turbo's maxing out or? Fuel pressure. Fuel. Oh, fuel. Fuel pump. What do you mean? Too small. It doesn't fall too much. We're starting to lose fuel pressure. Can we just pump it up? No, because that's going to make it worse. The, the, pump doesn't, the pump doesn't like high, like doesn't like high pressure. Gotcha. Which pump is this? The 7.0. Is it on low pressure? That's like a 1600 it's on power pump. It's actually on the high pressure and the high speed. It's supposed to be. Six injectors are dynamics? Yeah.
uh, at like 90 miles an hour, um, I have 4,900-ish drive shaft RPM, which I don't know what that would be, axle speed. Uh, I would have to look on the dyno and see what that actually correlates to. Um, and it's at about 7,400 RPM, which is right where it starts to recover from where it pulls the motor down. Yep. Yeah, that, that like, uh, over shift, they call it, basically it flares, and then there's just so much power coming in all at one time, the secondary is not resistive enough. Mm -hmm. So it skips a couple gears. Yeah, so uh, we, like, we tried one thing. I, we tried, um, basically doing like a, almost like a time-based uh, ramp for boost to try and make it so that it wouldn't just stuff a bunch of boost in it early and run over yep. it and yep. it actually made less power there because it it stayed under the clutching in my opinion until the clutch yep. finally caught up and then it ended up in the same place yep. you know, it's, uh, yeah I mean you guys will spend <laughs> I mean, we're, you know, you're a good, you're a good engine tuner. You, it's not going to take you long to get that figured out. But with the CVT system, you'll spend all your time clutching that fucking thing because it's just, it's a nightmare. That's what you spend most your time doing. We'll throw the other Helix on. I'll have to get back to you shop to do that before we got those at the shop. But I'll try that one and see. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, also, uh, my name is Cameron. If you didn't already know, and I really appreciate your your uh, insight and help on helping us diagnose the, the clutching stuff and everything. Obviously, it's not our our everyday thing, so being able to ask somebody that knows what they're doing is really helpful. Yeah, man, no All right, John. I greatly appreciate it, and I'll update you from the race this weekend. All right, thanks. Technically, you should, if you, if it's working like a, like a torque converter, right. right? When the converter is converting, if you want to call it, which yeah. is not the proper term, but that's what right. I'm going to call it, and you're multiplying, you get this like big torque swell, right? right? And then as if it, if it transitions from a lot of multiplication to whatever its minimum amount is right. the right way, it just builds like a yeah. normal. And STM did tell me the other day, get it performing good, get the tune good, get the logs good. Don't make, spend all the time with the clutching. Do that at the track. Mm -hmm. So if you feel good, we got tune good. Oh yeah, now. no, I'm, I, I think we're, about as close as we're gonna get, unless right. unless we were able to do a change here really quickly and then just back to back it to see right, right. that it continues to climb with right. whenever it goes full. Now one good thing is says. I can bring it back when we do bring the other car. Mm -hmm. Take it on real quick, yeah, same tune, to. different helix, just see what it does, and um, that'll be approved. But I already know what John's saying. It's gonna be that helix, mm -hmm. which makes sense. Cool. I guess we'll. Uh, start taking it off um you don't have the air clutch stuff hooked up right now right oh, right. Okay. right so when you do get that stuff hooked up and if, if you want to uh, do a couple tests and yeah. stuff like that as far as like two-step tests yep, yep. or whatever right absolutely feel free to send me logs okay um, right. and that way we can make sure that when it's I'll be sending in, those in that to you tomorrow. Situation, yeah. we can, we can yep. take a look at. I, it. I'll, I'll get it bolted on the air clutch back on tomorrow. I'll, I'll do a log, send it to you. Okay. Um, and go from there. And then, according to what time we got Friday at the truck, we should change out the helix. Mm -hmm. I can send you some logs on. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I like it. I guess that's a wrap. This thing's gonna be a rocket ship, man. I can't wait. <laughs> I appreciate the day. <laughs> <laughs>